Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta with you. It is the 1st of August, 2014. The main topic out here today in the Western Pacific really has been Tropical Storm Nakri. It pushed across Okinawa, brought some, well, actually, typhoon strength gust out here. Winds gusting upwards about 126 kilometers per hour uh, in the Amami Islands, 137 kilometers per hour. But as shown in the title of this update, that's not the big topic over here towards the west. I also want to talk about Tropical Storm Halong, which is pushing off towards towards the, the west and eventually the west northwest as well after impacting Guam earlier this week if you remember it brought some flooding rains out there also we did see some damage these photos taken by Jim Eds who was actually in that storm system as it pushed overhead and um, yeah now it's going to be continuing the track towards the northwest and we could potentially see this one intensify more and impact Japan by next week so let's talk about the forecast with this storm system first let's get into that's actually the radar of Okinawa the track on Halong here severe tropical storm Halong still pushing off there towards the west northwest winds of 50 gusting up to 70 knots actually this was recently upgraded to that severe tropical storm intensity and eventually they have it turning towards the west and switching off there towards the north around the western periphery of the West Pack High, the latest warning from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, just for comparison purposes, because I know a lot of you out here in the military are definitely checking with them. Uh, they expect this to intensify up to a max around 85, gusting to 105 knots before it starts the weekend, and it eventually turns off there towards the north. Model consensus on the track, both agencies we go actually going a little bit farther towards the east both of them come like this and then switch off there like that some of the models even going as far west as Miyako and just south of Okinawa even the nav gem the no gaps model um, in the long range has our storm system pushing directly over Okinawa so there's a few factors and let's go and answer some of these questions one of the big ones we got today was what about the Fujiwara effect and if you don't know what the Fujiwara effect is when you get two tropical systems and they start to rotate around each other in this case we don't really have two strong tropical systems but there is going to be a minute Fujiwara this storm's coming off here towards the north but our one down towards the south we have seen a little bit of a I wouldn't say a dip but it, it's kind of pulling like west southwest at this time so if you get and then they kind of rotate around each other in a clockwise fashion. So we're going to have their storm system go this way, and this storm system go this way, and then we have a high pressure right in the middle, so you get two lows rotating around a high in the center, and that's the Fujiwari, Fujiwara effect. So this storm system is going to track off towards the north and then eventually turn east, and the minute fact is this is still going west, and then it'll track towards the north around the subtropical ridge back here towards the east so that coming into play it kind of throws a bone or a wrench that is into the machine of the western pacific out here so what we're going to be seeing is the possibility of these models wavering back and forth but right now i i strongly think the southern japanese islands is going to be hit by a storm system not just because these models say so but because this is likely going to follow in the heels and the footsteps of tropical storm Nakri. This is the latest model from the GFS pulling it off there towards the north and eventually impacting uh, those of you across the Amami region pushing just towards the east of Okinawa and off there towards the north. This would be the best uh, case for Okinawa especially those in Naha not for Amami which has been seeing those flooding rains already today actually several reports of landslides and that's where we also saw those winds at 137 kilometers per hour so that's one situation we could see here let's compare it up with the ECMWF model this is the zero Z run and they actually pull a little bit farther towards the north affecting the northern portions of the Mami Islands before it pushes just towards the east meanwhile our nav gem outlooks and I want to show you all these models we don't just want to go with one you want to analyze a lot of stuff when you're looking at these storm systems um, this one pulls it off there towards the north and eventually basically directly over the island of Okinawa Hanto so I think in this point we got a lot of factors how strong is that subtropical ridge going to be as we look ahead into the forecast will Fujiwara effect happen yes will it be enough to cause the storm system to swing over towards Taiwan probably not I think it's minute I would be silly to say it's not going to happen but we're definitely going to be watching this as we look ahead and seeing exactly where it's going to be going at the very least we are going to be covering it and at the very least by next 
Wednesday and the Thursday out here, um, those of you across the southern Japanese islands, you're going to be impacted by some pretty gusty winds and the scattered showers again. Will it be typhoon strength? Uh, time will tell on that. Uh, the agencies uh, still haven't even put out five-day track uh, out that far yet. We can take a look at Japan's meteorological agency's track. I mean, this is a five-day outlook. It's still not there. So, we're going to keep an eye on it, guys, and we're definitely going to be uh, updating you as this continues to develop and new warnings come out. Meanwhile, I do want to mention um, we are still seeing the southwest monsoon across the Philippines. Be ready for that. Shower is going to continue to kick up probably in northern Luzon as this one develops. Heavy rainfall will push three. And also, the heat. Things are going to get hot. Actually, um, we've already been seeing near record-breaking temperatures into parts of Japan here in the past well, uh, several days out here, and the heat is still going to remain in place. Temperatures pushing into the mid to high 30s in some locations. So even over towards eastern China, heat warnings have been put in place for a lot of you guys. So it's going to be pretty, pretty warm out there as we look ahead to in the next several days. All right, so right now, uh, all I can say again is the latest model outlooks. They're pointing towards the southern Japanese islands, but it all depends on how much recurvature we're going to see and how far west this storm system goes. So no definite answer on exactly if it'll hit or not at this time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe out there. All right, bye.